We want to welcome all of His Glory Nation from east to west to north to south as we bring you today's Take 5. Things are breaking is what we are titling this. Many things are going on behind the scenes. Uh, you're going to see Nancy Pelosi come out this afternoon uh, and we're told that she's probably going to announce that they're going to start impeachment against the president. There's many things coming. Many, many things coming. Many things happening behind the scene. We are in an explosive, explosive, explosive time. Uh, so join us on hisglory.tv. Uh, again, that some people get confused, but those who are coming here, they're enjoying it. Our numbers are going through the roof. It's www.hisglory.me. Come to www.hisglory.me and then look for the hisglory.tv. Go down to the hisglory.tv and you're going to see it. There we are. We're live. If you come later and you see a black box, go over to the black box. There's an arrow. You can click on the arrow and you can see all the replays of the shows that we've already done in order. And then they're on our website uh, in order too, under His Glory Bible Studies and His Glory Programs. Take five is one of the programs. We are now putting the dates on all these as well too. So you will be able to hear that uh, you'll have the dates uh, so you know which take five it is. The Bible studies, people are going into the Bible studies. They're loving the Bible studies. I was showing Allison, we had a meeting today, uh, and we're showing the analytics of our website, and people are going into the Bible studies. That's what we, God said do a take five is for the Bible studies, and people are doing that. So come to His Glory TV, hang out. The chat is 24-7. Once you get the hang of it, it's a piece of cake. If you don't know how to do it, come into the chat, ask questions on the chat, you can sign in as a guest. You can come in through Facebook. You can come in through Vimeo. All of them are free. You don't have to have a Vimeo. Um, you don't have to have a paid Vimeo account. You can uh, just get one for free uh, or come on as a guest. Everybody's there. It's where the cool kids are hanging out. All the kids are hanging out. His Glory TV. Uh, we're going to be adding to His Glory TV as well. Um, we're trying to figure out uh, how we add in the domain hisglory.tv because we own the domain hisglory.tv. So we're gonna see how we can configure the two together. Uh, but right now, you just come to hisglory.me under His Glory TV. There you are, here we go. Uh, YouTube, 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 YouTube. This will be tape delayed on YouTube. So if you're following us and you're listening to this on YouTube later on, the reason we're not going live with YouTube is because they went after Macaroni Bear. Finally, I had to get to their legal department today and get it solved. Somebody reported us that uh, macaroni bear was under 13 and he should be kicked off who would go and report a kid i want to know who would report a kid and they took him off and then they stopped us from streaming they had to go to their legal department i just sent them legal documents today to release us out of youtube jail maybe that's a blessing in disguise so now we won't stream live on youtube anymore We'll tape delay it on YouTube to get everybody to come to His Glory TV. God opens up doors and shuts them for particular reasons. Macaroni Bear will be live uh, soon. On uh, uh, He will be soon coming to His Glory TV. So you'll see Macaroni Bear on His Glory TV. Soon, soon, soon. Let me try to scroll down. Again, the, everyone on the 24-7, they're 24-7, they're, they're chatting. Always coming to His Glory TV and chatting. We're up to 21. The numbers are going through the roof. So join us there. Uh, this is going live on, um, obviously, His Glory TV, Vimeo, Twitter, Periscope, and uh, Facebook. YouTube will be delayed. So we will look at, eventually, once we get in our studio, the carpet's been picked out. The flooring's been picked out. My wife says I never give her enough praise. I've given her praise. She picked it out. We're going in there soon. So things are moving ahead. Uh, update on the wireless. We may just say the heck with AT&T and pull them out of the loop. It's, they're, they're having a hard time chewing gum and walking. Uh, T-Mobile reached out to me today. So T-Mobile wants to give an offering to his glory. So we may have a Verizon and a T-Mobile offering. More to come. We should have an announcement very, very soon. As you saw, if you were paying attention, when we first went live, I was putting the repair, radical repair uh, stuff on today. This helps my elbow like nothing I've ever seen. Uh, I put the lip balm on and the therapeutic gel is the best. So uh, go to His Glory Family Partners. You're already here on the site. Go to His, His Glory Family Partners. Click on Obey. 
takes you right to Obey's website, His Glory section. Put His Glory in your checkout and get 5% off your order. And $45 or more is free shipping. So support uh, support um, Obey. We got some new products coming down the road from Obey, too. You'll love them. You will love them. I love them. And I'm gonna, I've been testing one of the products that hasn't come out yet, and it is money. I'm telling you what, it's money. I use it every day. Uh, just like I do the Kagan water, just like I do the Beamer. Remember we said, we are not going to promote a, um, a product unless A, it works, and more importantly than A, it, the, the company gives God the glory. It's all about His glory, uh, the glory of the Lord. We want people to be healed in these end days. Uh, emergency alert went off today. Emergency alert. If you saw this, it came across DirecTV. This is very fascinating. We're getting closer to major events going down. Emergency alert system. This is the longest emergency alert I've ever seen. It was on Direct TV here in Ohio, and I'm told it went across because <laughs> I talked to somebody from AT and T today. Uh, I'm, I was told it went all across Direct TV nationwide, and it was an emergency system for LA County only. What's up in LA? This is a precursor. Keep your eyes peeled. We are told many things can happen. Matter of fact, I was told. I need to have a call after this with a source, two sources. So something's coming down the pipe. Uh, potentially, we may do a second take five today, depending on if there's something I can release or not release. Um, we mentioned earlier that the, the House Democrats are meeting at four o'clock with a presser. Uh, they're talking about impeachment. And it, the rumor is that Nancy Pelosi will officially announce that they're going to move forward with impeachment against the president. The president announced today that he is going to Drop the D-class on the uh, whistleblower on what he said to the Ukrainian. You saw Rudy Giuliani yesterday. Boomerang, boomerang, boomerang. You notice that Sean Hannity last night said boomerang and buckle up. Uh, tippy top. I don't know if he said tippy top, but tick tock. Uh, it's coming. This Greta Thornburg. She was the she was the 16 year old girl that was uh, a ties to source. Mother and father are activists. She, came, she went to the United Nations, spoke to Congress about climate change. Well, we always dig behind the scenes and find out there's pictures of with her with George Soros, uh, the one that had the angry face that's all over social media. Um, come to find out, she is the highest paid activist in the world. She made $46 million between August 2018 and August 2019. She's getting paid some pretty big bucks. And she started a Twitter war with the President of the United States today because he, he, he ghosted her. Still don't know what ghost means, but I'll say ghost. He walked past her like she was a ghost. Casper the ghost. Um, Al Green. I don't know if this is politically correct to say, but we're not politically correct all the time. Um, Al Green reminds me of Teen Wolf growing up. Al Green said, he said before, and now he's saying again, he said, we need to impeach Trump or else he will be reelected. He said that several months ago. And now he's coming out saying, we have to put more urgency into impeaching President Trump uh, or the public is going to turn on us. Well, they're turning. 53% approval rating came in today for the President of the United States. Again, if you're new to following us, we are not pro-Democrat. We're not pro-Republican. We are pro-country. And our king is the Lord of hosts. We have some interesting news from Israel about our King, the Messiah, uh, the Christ. We're getting closer and closer to the coming of our Lord. Hamas Link Care Group demands uh, that uh, Twitter suspends President Trump's account because he was criticizing Omar. Care is a terrorist organization and <laughs> their days and Omar's days <laughs> are coming to an end. It's coming to an end. She's got more trouble. Southfield, uh, 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 politician is in deep trouble as well. Deep trouble everywhere. Uh, his glory, this reminds us of his glory. Get your his glory uh, clothing. We have a new Christian company that's taken over our clothing line. It's brand new. It's got new gear, more coming. So click on the merchandise section of our website and get your new his glory gear. Lots of cool stuff, lots of Patriot stuff, light winds, giddy up, and uh, give us uh, examples uh, of uh, ideas that you want um, for his glory wear. We're going to get into the camouflage. Uh, Allison and my wife are working on getting me camouflage pants uh, and shorts. We're going to be adding that. We're going to be adding a whole Patriot line 
a whole line. And your donations to his glory. We've been a little bit light lately. Uh, we know that God is going to uh, change all that. We trust in him. Uh, so if God puts it on your heart to uh, do a, a, a re regular uh, don custom donation or re reoccurring donation, God bless you. Or if you want to send a check or money order, our P.O. box is on our website. God bless you because every dollar counts. So important to our ministry. All right. Um, uh, if you saw Rudy Giuliani again last night, he went nuclear. He threw down the hammer. He says he's got incriminating evidence against Joe Biden, and he's ready to release it. We pray for the protection of Rudy. Rudy's not playing around. Rudy also knows a lot about the Wiener laptop, too. So keep that, uh, keep that in mind uh, as things are starting to heat up more and more and more and more. Um, Donald, we mentioned President Trump is at a 53% approval rating. I believe that is the highest that he's been at. America is starting to wake up. They need to be wake up because many things are going to start going on, going on. Keep, keep alert this week. There's a lot of things going on. Stay, I was told, uh, stay close to uh, communications because things uh, may be going on. Um, this week, this Sunday, is Rosh Hashanah. We are going to celebrate here at His Glory uh, Rosh Hashanah, which is the uh, secular new year. It's the Feast of Shofars. We will be doing a teaching on that festival. It is the fifth festival of the Hebrew seven festival festivals. So we will do a up, uh, updated uh, Feast of Shofar uh, teaching. I will do that either on Sunday or on Friday, depending on how our week, week goes. But uh, we will get that new teaching out on why we celebrate Rosh Hashanah. And we're going to actually do an authentic Rosh Hashanah meal here on Sunday uh, at our house. Um, so good stuff, good stuff. It is the Jewish New Year of 5780. 5780, that's going to mean something because I'm going to quote a, um, a, a, a mystic rabbi, what he wrote in Rabbi Kurduri, how it's coming. it looks like some of this is coming true. Uh, Homeland Security, McClellan, uh, said that there will be no more next week. There will be no more catch and release. They're starting to uh, get more aggressive on the border, as you can see, uh, getting them on the other side of the border. No more catch and release starting next week. Stacey Abrams, who claims she still should be the governor of Georgia. Uh-oh, rut row she's under investigation. It looks like there could be some fraud, some fraud being involved. We have to keep an eye on that closely. Uh, before we get into the Israel stuff, well, we'll talk about Israel stuff before we talk about the, what the Jerusalem Post posted today. Uh, DARPA, uh, you know DARPA. DARPA is the top secret United States government uh, technic te te uh, technical stuff that they do uh, with, with the manipulating of the DNA uh, to try to create a super soldier, uh, lots of things that they were doing in Plum Island. Um, DARPA, you can go to your DARPA website uh, on, our, on the DARPA website and you can see the, some of the, the projects they're working on. Anyway, DARPA came out today, it was on OEN, and said that they are, they're, they're, they're messing with the, the DNA molecule for, for future advancement. And I just laughed. They've been working on the DNA molecule forever. They've been cloning forever. Dolly was not the first clone. They've been, manip been manipulating the DNA molecule for years upon years and upon years. And uh, they've said it on DARPA. If you have not studied this, um, that's Plum Island. Is a, they had to shut that down because when that animal, they didn't know what it was. It was like a modern day island of Dr. M uh, Monroe. Um, DARPA is, if you follow the, 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 the Crimea, the Crimea, and the, the, the seed of the serpent, the, the Nephilim, the, the Rephaphim in the end days. They are walking around. I remember Chuck Missler saying this in 2010, that they were walking around. They're walking around today. DARPA is manipulating the DNA molecule. And uh, Tom Horn does a great study on this. If you want to get more information, Tom takes it to a whole different level. He's been on Sid Roth many times, and I think you can get Tom Horn's study about the uh, Crimea uh, and the DNA molecule. You can get a DNA kit. Uh, to, do, to manipulate the DNA molecule for 100 bucks on the internet. Uh, we are in those days. As Jesus said, it will be as the days of Noah. What were they doing in the days of Noah and the days of Lot? They were manipulating the, the DNA molecule. That's why the flooding of the earth. There will be Nephilim, Rephaphim in the end days, and they are here. 
You won't get that in 99.9% uh, .9 of the churches because they teach something called a Seth theory, and there is no such thing as a Seth theory. It is the literal Bible. The Bible tells of the crime, or the Bible tells of Nephilim, Rephaphim, Rapha, uh, Anakim, Anami, uh, over 47 times in our Bible. When you get in the book of Enoch, you see that more. You can get our study in that on uh, demons and angels. We go into that. Our Genesis study teaches us that too. We will be doing a new updated study. And then when we get into the, the, uh, the studio, we will be doing a deep dive in the book of Enoch because Enoch goes into more depth of, of the rough of theme. It's important to know that in the end days because they are not human. Uh, next partner, Beamer. I was on my Beamer today. I got beamed up. People say, what is a Beamer? A beamer is getting your flood, to, your, your blood to pump, blood and water. That's what we're made of. That's so important. And that's why two of our partners focus on the, the blood and the water. I got the water here. We're going to talk about Kagan water, hydrogen water. It's good stuff. I drink it all day long, all day long. But the beamer is, it, it'll change you. Um, again, I got feeling in both my toes for the first time since the botulism. Uh, just all glory to God. But check out the Beamer. It changes things. Uh, you can get the Beamer at uh, his, his Glory Family Partners. Click on the Beamer. Uh, portions of Beamer sales, we're saving up to, go, to get uh, our partners to give them to a, a veterans hospital uh, so that the veterans can have this. She has four Beamers in her uh, spa, her, her wellness center, and, and uh, veterans in that area can go there for free. My wife is going to be working with Trudy to get up to speed on how to handle, uh, help people when they come into the ministry. And we're gonna offer it for veterans for free as well. We want to take care of our veterans. Our veterans have given their lives for this country and it's time to, to pay them back. And guess what? With a the reset, they're gonna be paid back. Uh, people say, what? Well, people ask me, what's, with it? what's on your face? I'm not shaving until after Rosh Hashanah. Uh, it's been a while since I've done that, but I'm not gonna shave until after Rosh Hashanah. I'm going to get my Hebrew beard on. I'm going to get my Hebrew beard on for a week. Um, there's a book of Enoch. I got in trouble for the one book of Enoch. Uh, read the book of Enoch. Don't worry about the editorial that. So that's why we'll, we, we will do an in-depth book of Enoch study. I have, I don't have them in front of me. I got two or three books of Enoch. You should see my desk, my other desk, just book upon book. The book of Yasser, 13 Bloodlines of Satan. Uh, what else do I got there? Uh, the book of Jubilees. Um, Enoch, two different types of book of Enoch, and seven Bibles. <laughs> Just there. I got two Bibles on here. We got Bibles everywhere. You got to have a Bible in every room of your house. If you have a Bible in every room, there's no excuse when you sit down. Make it sure it's a different Bible, too. So that way, when you're reading the Bible and you're in different locations in your Bible reading, that you may be in the New King James, or then you'll see it in a, a, a different version. Uh, then something will spur you to go do more research. And what I recommend is use the Blue Letter Bible. It's a free, a free uh, app. You can get the Hebrew. You can get the pronunciation. You can get the, uh, you can get the Greek. But this is my deep study Bible. I, this is where I go into the Word every day uh, in the ministry office. Uh, this, is, this is not something you want to lug because this is huge. But this is the inner linear uh, Bible, Hebrew, Greek, and English with it with the uh the, the uh, hebrew letters and the greek letters and the gematria of that as well um, but as you can if you were in my ministry office you'd see there's there's literally bibles everywhere we go throughout the whole house um got every bible more important than more important than anything uh so we mentioned um haven't mentioned general flynn is going to plead the fifth adam schiff wants general flynn to testify uh, Sidney uh, Powell says to General Flynn, you'll take the fifth. Uh, it's going to boomerang on you, Adam Schiff. His shifty shift, uh, his, his relationship with Ed Bucks. Um, Ed Buck, bad Oreo. More's coming out about Ed Buck. And Hotel California, standard hotel. It ain't over. It ain't over. It's coming back. Boomerang. Buckle up. As Sean Hannity said, buckle up and... Um, Buckle up and boomerang, he said last night. Before we get into this interesting article out of the Jerusalem Post today, uh, we, I think we tweeted this out. So if you're not following us on Twitter, our Twitter is uh, His Glory Me, where we tweet these articles out uh, so that you can get it in-depth. I'm going to go into the meat and potatoes because this is 
fascinating article out of Israel today that has to do with Rabbi Kaduri, who died in 2006. Uh, and I'll get into that uh, in a minute and explain what one of his uh, rabbis said uh, to him uh, and how this ties into uh, the stalemate in Israel and the coming of the king, the Messiah. We're in the days of the Lord. The days of the Lord are coming soon. But we want to talk about our Israel trip. This, every person who has seen this itinerary cannot believe, A, the price. The price is $2,000 cheaper than anywhere out there. And we're going at a perfect time. It's going to be cooler. It's not going to be hot. We're taking the Dreamliner. So your trip, uh, uh, air trip from New York to Tel Aviv and back is going to be on the brand new LL Dreamliner. It'll be like a dream in flight. That's the worst part about going to Israel. But many people have seen this not only are, uh, love the price, but we are going to places that no one else goes to. We told you we're going to give you the value. And every place we go, you're going to learn the Bible. I'm going to have a Bible teaching every place we go. I will be uh, on the bus with everybody answering questions the best we can. And we're going to learn the Bible together. And we're going to see Israel and Jerusalem and the Sea of Galilee. And all these places... And the Bible will come alive. Your life will change. Uh, I promise you, if you go to Israel, your life's going to change. Uh, 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 Lisa, uh, you email Elisa. I think the last I heard, she said there's 87 people that have inquired. And I'm not sure how many people have registered, 15, 20 or something like that. Um, so sign up, inquire, get the itinerary. You can get this at from Elisa, A-L-Y. A-L-Y-S-S-A at hisglory.me or info at hisglory.me and go to, join us in Israel. It will change your life. Our uh, registration date is running close. I think registration date is uh, the 12th of October, so we're running out of time. Meet us in Israel. As they say at the end of the Hebrew, uh, the Hebrew festivals in Jerusalem, next year in Jerusalem. That's what we want to do every year. We're going to go to Jerusalem and pro most likely... We're going to do it in January because that's where we get the best deals and the best prices. One other thing, I've checked the hotels that we're staying in at the Sea of We're going to stay two nights at the Sea of Galilee, and the other four nights we will be in Jerusalem. And I tell you, what, the hotels are awesome, awesome. <laughs> yes, his glory in Israel. And we're going to go into Hezekiah's Tunnel. We're going to go into the City of David, and we're going to go down some nooks and crannies that the average people can't get to. Who knows? Maybe we'll run into the Ark of the Covenant. God's got something special planned for this trip. You watch. All right, Israel. This is in today's Jerusalem Post. Uh, this was from Rabbi Kaduri. If you're not familiar with Rabbi Kaduri, he was one of the re leading rabbis. He died in 2006. On his deathbed, it's very similar to David Ben-Gurion, who was the first prime minister of Israel. When David Ben-Gurion died, he had Hal Lindsey's book on his nightstand. Um, and some believe that he accepted the Messiah, the Christ, on his deathbed, meaning David Ben-Gurion. But Rabbi Kaduri, he wrote a book. And he, before he died, he said, I know who the Messiah is. And he wrote the name of the Messiah and put it in an envelope. And if you know the Jewish tradition, the Jewish tradition, when the body dies, you bury the body in a cave, and then a year later, you come back and you put the bones into an ossuary. Ossuary is a bone box, and you put it with your family. On the anniversary, the one-year anniversary that he was told of that event, of his death, that's the day you put the bones in the bone box, the ossuary. And also, that was the day you opened up the letter revealing who the Messiah was, according to the rabbi. He said, God visited him. You ve vave. In, in Judaism, you cannot announce the name God. It's so holy you cannot announce Juve Vave, the, the four letters that, that equal the gematria of 31. Anyway, Rabbi Kaduri said his name when they opened the envelope is Yeshua. The Messiah is Yeshua, the Christ, Jesus. He also said that uh, in his book, there's a, a there, I'm not sure if this was, a, I'm assuming this is a rabbi. He quoted somebody named Yazik, Yazikik, said on the, th this was a pro, this was way back in 2006. He, and this is 5780, the year 5780. And this is what this guy wrote in this book. He said, on the eve of the year 5780, which is this coming Sunday, will be 5780, which is Feast of Shofars or Rosh Hashanah. He said, the upcoming Hebrew year, 5780, there will be a correct, it's called the year of correction. 
year of correction. Isn't that what a boomerang does in midair? It corrects itself and comes back. God's blessing in the new year, the year of correction. Everything was wrong will be righted. Everything that was dark will become light. Upcoming Hebrew Review 5780, the year of correction. There will not be a government in Israel. Guess what? There's no government in Israel right now. They can't put one together yet. He goes on with, with, with this, uh, with, with this um, I don't know what you call it, a prophecy or what. We have to see if it comes true. Uh, so far, some of this is dead. He said for th th there would be no government for an extended uh, period of time, which is happening right now. And uh, uh, the, 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 com the, the, the competing camps will quarrel. That's exactly what they're doing without a decision from either side either side they can't they got with the president and they can't the blue and uh, the blue and white under benny gatz remember the name benny is, is short for benjamin and then the Likud, benjamin netanyahu they can't form a government they're not they're not uniting this is exactly what he said he said and then on the on rosh hashanah which is this sunday uh there will be a fight in heaven the holy side against the side of evil and Yuve Vave and, 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 and Strange will, de, will decide between them. And this all uh, is all I can say from here on. I swore not to reveal more, according to this guy. He went on to say in this book, both the names of these two leaders, remember this was back in 2006, said both the names of these leaders will name Benjamin, Benny Gatz, which is a short for Benjamin, and Benjamin Netanyahu. And neither will, uh, no, neither will be successful in establishing this government or this kingship. On that day, meaning the day of Rosh Hashanah, which is this Sunday, they'll understand that the king is, is a standing at the door, meaning the Messiah, the king, is standing at the door. And uh, the Sabbath that will come afterwards. So this was a prophecy saying that there would be a, at the Rosh Hashanah of 5780, uh, that there would be a split in government and two Benjamins would be involved and they would not be able to unite. And this is a time of correction. And this is also a time that the king, the Messiah, would be opening the door. Not saying that he's coming back, but his time is near. Very fascinating. We don't know if that's going to come true. He's a mystic Jewish. The mysticism gets way out there. Some of the stuff they get right and some of it is way wacko. Uh, kind of like the Noahide laws. You, you don't follow those Noahide laws. That, that's against God's precepts and commandments. Uh, but that is a fascinating article, nevertheless, um, in today's Jerusalem Post. And we know Rabbi Kaduri wrote a book, and he said the Messiah is Yeshua. Well, we know the Messiah is Yeshua. This is brought to you by Keg and Water. I got my Keg and Water. Uh, Don came over and got some Keg and Water the other day. He loves it. Allison, every time she comes over... Uh, Stocks up on keg and water, takes bottles home for her kids. Our dogs are drinking it. I was talking to Macaroni Bear last night. We played basketball. And our, our two dogs seem like they have more energy than I've ever seen. And it's got to be the water because I can't understand that nothing else in their diet is changing them. We haven't got them on the Beamer yet. Got to get our oldest one on the Beamer. Your body is 70, 75% water and all, all life requires it. Uh, God designed our, our, our bodies to heal itself. Not all water is the same. Hydrogen-rich Kagan water helps remove offending sources from the body that prevent healing. It's been used in Japanese hospitals for decades. Make your, if you haven't seen healthy people, look at the Japanese. When I was in Japan, you rarely saw somebody that was not uh, healthy in Japan. They lived long lives. Uh, alkalized, ultra-hydrating, uh, say that three times, Powerful antioxidant, uh, many more uses for cleaning, body, plants, pets, cooking, cooking, and more. So get uh, get your information on the Kagan at our partners at Eden Water. They are Christians, and they're doing it because they want to heal the body of Christ. Go to his Glory Family Partners, click on Eden Waters, and get your questions answered. Uh, FBI arrest a Army private today who is planning on, so they say, of targeting... CNN and blowing CNN up and also tar targeting Beto O'Dork. I think there's more to the story. Could it be that they're getting, trying to get a patsy to try to get the right wing uh, terrorist supremacy? That would be just a perfect thing for a, an attack on Beto O'Dork and CNN that would turn that upside down. Kind of like our next story. 
the POTUS, is declassifying his call you with Ukraine tomorrow. So you're going to see what really happened. This week is going to be explosive. All my sources say this week is going to be giddy up, fasten your seatbelt, hold on tight, get your keg and water, get your popcorn. I would say Diet Coke, but I'm trying to cut back on Diet Coke. I'm drinking the keg and water. Uh, you know, they were telling me that if I drank one Diet Coke, just one Diet Coke a day, how much keg and water it'd take me to drink to get that Diet Coke out of my system. And when I did the math on that, I thought, you know, I probably should stay away from the Diet Coke. We were here, well, Allison was here today for a meeting and uh, we were watching, we always have the, the news on and I saw the Prime Minister of India, uh, Mahdi, he had a Diet Coke with him. Yeah, so if this Marine gets a chance to go into the White House, into the Oval Office, I am going to be able to hit the red button, okay? I want to see that Marine bring a Diet Coke out. Make that two. Uh, make that two. One for me and the President. Uh, you never know. So this is going to be explosive week. Uh, hang on tight. Giddy up. Uh, also, OEN has just announced, uh, too, that uh, the, they found a lost continent underneath Europe. See, the Earth is more than what we know. They found a lost continent beneath Europe. We are living in a hologram. The real reality is outside of where we live. And we're starting to get bits and pieces of that from the Bible. The Bible's always told us that. But science is now showing us that we're in at least a 10 dimension reality. Some scientists believe 20. And God is outside of all of time dimension reality. So uh, we are in a hologram. Well, the real world is around us. And the more we're awakened to this, the more we're going to see where our home is gonna be outside of time and space and being in a glorious, glorious time with the Lord. It's an exciting time to be uh, a Christian that loves the Lord with all your heart, your soul, and your mind. We're coming through the greatest awakening in the history of the church, G bigger than Pentecost. The, 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 the anointing has already started, and you can just feel it. I feel it here. Um, I felt it yesterday. I saw, I saw the angel again twice in our main house. And uh, we haven't heard the shofar go off. Many heard the shofar go off yesterday. Shofars are going off. God's protecting us. He's chasing away the birds. Uh, glorious time to be alive. And uh, we're going to close up our take five with a prayer. Uh, and we may come back with a second take five. So stand by, depending on what uh, the resources uh, that we get out of our call. Um, we, I did just get another uh, military alert, so um, we will see. But we want, what we want to do is we want to pray for our military. We want to pray for the, the, the financial system. Uh, they are trying to bring the financial system down through the mortgage, through the banks. Uh, you can see that through the gold, the movement of gold. Gold is going up. You can see that in the uh, mortgage-backed securities. This time it won't work. This time it won't work when they go down, if they go down, uh, there will not be a bailout. It will be a reset. So every exit has been stopped. So whatever they tried to do. And there is not a coincidence why they did another emergency alert. Be prepared. I, I, this is, I've only seen this two times ever in my entire life uh, with DirecTV. And I've had DirecTV since 1995. I think it was, it was like one of the first DirecTV uh, subscribers because I lived in the country and you couldn't get cable there. So I've had DirecTV since 1995. And I've only seen emergency alert twice. And this one was unique because this emergency alert went nationwide, but it was only talking about LA County. And it went on for like five minutes and froze the TV programming. Uh, so be alert. Uh, FEMA, we, we, we told you when we were in Dallas, FEMA said that was the first, on that Friday before we were in Dallas, that was the first internal FEMA test that she had seen in 25 years at being in at FEMA. And she said she'd never heard of one public. And then that, that next week, there was a public one again. So this is the second one. Remember, President Trump is already taxed out by a mobile. And remember, we told you eight months ago, there was something called His Glory, or not His Glory. Uh, maybe we'll go live His Glory TV. There was a reason why we went to His Glory TV when we did. Um, there literally was. Uh, there's Trump TV. We're talking about eight, nine months ago that there was Trump TV and people are like, oh, that's crazy. That's, that, there's no such thing as Trump TV. Until Bill O'Reilly let the cat out of the bag two, two or three weeks ago and says, mainstream media better look out because there is Trump TV and he's going to bring it out and he's going to squash them. 
So we've had emergency alert through the president, through uh, the telecommunications. That was, a, that was a trial error to make sure all telecom companies were going to be complicit in getting the message out. And there is also an emergency alert way to go. Plus, he's got a way to go directly to Trump TV. We pray that that doesn't have to happen. We pray that this goes in a peaceful manner, but we have to pray for our president. We pray for Israel, that Israel's government is shaped by the form of, by the hand of God for his purpose in these end days. Uh, and we pray for our president. We pray for our military. We pray for law enforcement. We pray for the Coast Guard and Nas uh, uh, the National Guard. They both have a very important mission. Uh, and we pray for all of our troops. And uh, God bless our troops. We pray that the president has the discernment around him to make the right decisions uh, because there's going to be some serious decisions to be made when it comes to Iran and more. Things are speeding up. They're speeding up in the spiritual realm and they're most definitely speeding up in the physical realm. Giddy up, hold tight, buckle up. It's going to be a show. It's going to be a show. We'll let you know via Twitter uh, and um, we will come back into the chat room of His Glory TV uh, to put in uh, if we're going to do another Take 5 tonight. Uh, Macaroni Bear is, is uh, going to do a, his, his simple as a child. Hopefully it won't get taken down on His Glory TV, but he will be doing that sometime soon too. Remember, uh, come to His Glory. Go to our calendar. We're going to start keeping our calendar up to, up, up to date so you can see what time the teachings are uh, so that you can come here. You don't have to worry about alert. The people on YouTube were saying they never got the alert half the time anyway. Uh, so you, you don't need an alert when you got it on our calendar. You'll know what time. And again, when you follow His Glory TV, if you don't get us live and you come to His Glory TV and you see that black box, click on the down arrow and you can see all the replays. Those are all the replays of the videos and you can play them again and they're in the order uh, that the, of last played. Then, they, then we move them over to the His Glory programs if they're a take five. And if they're a Bible study, we moved it, we changed the name of it. it um, it's called His Glory Bible Studies. So go into His Glory Bible Studies. It's easier for you to understand it's His Glory Bible. Many of you are watching our Bible studies. Uh, God bless you. I saw today that the third and fourth most clicked upon thing on our website is our Bible studies, which is great. And all these take fives now, you can see we're starting to put the date on them. So you'll see the date of the, of the, the, the ones. Um, if you happen to get on His Glory TV and the, video, the live stream is just done, the replay won't come for another 30 to 45 minutes. So you have to wait for the replay. It's just how it reboots itself. And if you're in the middle of the chat and uh, the, the, the His Glory TV stops, it cuts you off. So all you have to do is refresh, go back into the chat because people are chatting there all the time. Dennis has got... Dennis has got him all rocking on His Glory TV. He is there all the time, helping with questions. Uh, it's beautiful. We want more of His Glory family to reach out to us. Uh, that if you want to be moderators and help us on different, uh, different formats, uh, the more that can help that spread the glory of this uh, ministry, because it's a, for the glory of God, not for man. It's not me. I'm just a servant. I'm called to give Him the glory. And we are just to be called servants to the glory of the Most High God. We love each and every one of you. You are our family. Uh, this is incredible. An incredible time to be alive. May the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless each and every one of you. Until the next time, God bless.